Multiple experts came from Texas Department of Public Safety to testify about their findings in the Cedric Marks trial. In the middle of this afternoon's proceedings, the judge asked everyone to exit the courtroom to speak with the prosecution and defense in private. Fox 44's Earl Stoudemire joins us now live outside the Bell County Justice Center to explain why this happened. Earl. Adam, everyone in the courtroom, including media, was asked to leave for nearly 40 minutes. Once we all came back into the courtroom, Judge Steve Dusky said it was because he had to handle a situation with a jury member. Judge Dusky said that he had to excuse one of the jury members this afternoon and that he wanted to keep jury matters private. We'll have to wait and see if this jury member will come back on Monday. However, Judge Dusky emphasized to the jury today to not look up any information about this trial online and to not speak to anyone about it. It. This afternoon, Texas DPS Quality Assurance Specialist Stephen Favela spoke on the witness stand. He did multiple tests on the hair strands found in Atney's Toyota RAV4, Michael's Hyundai Genesis, the suitcase located in Janelle's office, and Jenna and Michael's clothes. Favela testified finding a few possible hair, hair strands from Jenna and Michael in the RAV4 trunk and in the suitcase found in Janelle's office. Favela did want to clarify these hair strands were unable to be examined on a microscopic level to not make confirmation. The prosecution made a motion to omit evidence from the last hair results test, which they received today. However, the judge denied this motion due to Mark saying it's a late submission for the trial. Outside the presence of the jury, the district attorney went over the final test results results to show hair strands found in Mark's red Jeep were not Michael and Jenna's. With this information, Mark's did not object then to the evidence being admitted. At the end of today, Judge Steve Dusky said, did say that the trial on Wednesday would start a little bit later at 1030 in the morning. But for now, live in Belton, Earl Stoudemire, Fox 24 News.